I have an overflow of plants. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to do. Still working on it. I don't know. Day three, I had to take a break from working on this and work on the middle of the property. We have a vacant two-bedroom. I'm not working on the inside. I'm work I worked on the outside. I put that garden in for Jim originally years ago and it needed tidied up before we can show the apartment it's getting repainted and new lights and floors and the forsythia was in on that property before i was here and it was overgrown so I keep a good eye on it now to keep it trimmed and to pull up new offshoots so it doesn't get out of control. I have some outside propagating. When I trim something like that up, I propagate. These will be propagated outside in my winter pot. And this one's just for inside enjoyment. And what else did I trim up over there? The Russian sage. He has one that's really big and was overgrowing onto the deck. I trimmed it up really good and propagated it. Outside, I'm not using greenhouse space for that. This is the second time I've done Forsythia and Russian sage. And they did really well for me. So that's where I'm at. I'm not going to be able to finish on this, on this take. While I was in the greenhouse, I found new growth. So I'm super excited. I didn't get it on film, but I will go back and show you before I finish this up. So this is where they'll sit till it warms up. Spring. Grab some more grasses. Accidentally, I don't know the name of this weed, but it's got all those sticky burrs on it. I got into those yesterday without realizing what they were. Yeah, I was a mess. Trying to get those. They got my hair and my hat. Because I they're really pretty and I was playing with them. So yeah, it got really cold. It didn't get cold in here. But it's really cold outside. My hands are cold and I'm working with gloves on. I keep accidentally hitting it off. See, this is a Gerber Daisy. It was doing just really lousy in the house last year. Eventually I planted it in the cottage garden and then dug it back up in the fall. Looks good. It's enjoying life in here again. It will bloom eventually. So yeah, a couple months I will have blooms in here. I found a rosemary. In Jim's garden, I'm sure either him or his daughter had planted it. But it will not survive winter in Michigan. Zone 5. I know a lot of people in warmer zones than me that can't winter rosemary. It has bloomed in the greenhouse in years past. Beautiful. I didn't even know it bloomed. But if you keep it in the greenhouse, it will. So I saved it from winter. I brought it in. And I have high hopes. Cut some wisteria, which I'm going to work with when I'm done with all my other projects. So it's just sitting in a watering can. Wisteria has interesting growth. Is it showing on camera? Yeah, it does some, you know, twirling around each other, which makes for interesting growth. So that, it's real pliable. 
So that might be fun to work with. I can't wait to get back in here and work, but I got things to do, other things. So that is the middle of the property and that is the garden that I was working on. I have a picture of this wisteria in bloom last spring. It was so pretty. I saved it. They wanted to chop it down, all of it. And I protested because I knew what was in there. So we did cut it back a lot. A couple of us did. Um, an old tenant started cutting it back. I started cutting it back. Then me and Jim started cutting it back. And when we got finished, it was really nice. It was perfect. Rooted this year. Dogs broke it off. can't remember the name of this one. Feverfew? Yeah, I think that's it. New this year. First time propagating. Propagated really easily in water. When I don't have time and don't know what I'm going to do with something, I stick it in water. And sometimes I get lucky. And that's what I have going on here in the back. That is water and that is things that are just sitting and waiting. This is Ooh, can't remember it's a grass or it looks like a grass but it's a tree bamboo that is bamboo clumping bamboo I need to cut it back. I was going to use it in my reefs reefs Okay, so I guess I'm done in here. It took a minute to clean up. Somewhere to put the dried stuff that I'm using. Makes me crazy when this place is a mess. I still need to sweep the floor, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. It can wait. So I found a way to squeeze everything in over here. For the sake of finishing the video, that's where I'm going to leave it. Because work never ends. I just pick up. This is a garbage picked plant. The kids picked up. And it has new growth on it. You could tell it was still green. It lost all its foliage, but it's coming back. This is a propagation. It started going soft at the bottom, so I had to recut it and replug it. I'm going to move it somewhere else when I get that far. Um, pepper plant is mostly defoliated. And I want to cover it with a garbage bag and stick it outside. It's another propagation that went south. It didn't go smushy though. Still hard, so I'm going to leave it. It's not going in the greenhouse, so I'll have to take it out of that pot. So I'll take the plant out, cover it with a garbage bag, and carry it to the greenhouse and make a space for it to come back. Other than that, I'm going to leave this for now because I have other things going on. <laughs> 